Good afternoon. I'm Nancy Cordes. Welcome to day three of our coverage of the Republican National Convention here in Cleveland. A lot to get to today, but we start with news regarding Melania Trump. Her speechwriter, Meredith McIver, has offered her resignation just two days after accusations rather, of plagiarism. The speech given Monday by Mrs. Trump appears to have lifted several lines from Michelle Obama's Democratic National Convention speech back in 2008. And a short time ago, the Trump campaign put out this statement from McIver, which reads in part, in working with Melania Trump on her recent First Lady speech, we discussed many people who inspired her and messages she wanted to share with the American people. A person she has always liked is Michelle Obama. Over the phone, she read me some passages from Mrs. Obama's speech as examples. I wrote them down and later included some of the phrasing in the draft that ultimately became the final speech. I did not check Mrs. Obama's speeches. This was my mistake, and I feel terrible for the chaos I have caused Melania and the Trumps as well as to Mrs. Obama. No harm was meant. However, we have also learned that the resignation was not accepted by the Trump family. I want to go down to our CBS News Chief White House Correspondent, Major Garrett, who joins us by phone. So, Major, how does this uh, advance the story? Is this basically a uh, case closed, a mea culpa by uh, a, a close aide to Melania Trump, and, and now we move on? It feels like it. And... Uh... You know, this is all coming from the Trump campaign and the Trump organization. Our viewers should understand they are two separate entities. So what this tells us, if it's all true, is that Meredith MacGyver, and I must tell you, I find that name so deliciously interesting. It very well may be Meredith <laughs> MacGyver. That very well may be her name. But just the fact that it is coincidental to a TV story or TV show built around a character who invents things under pressure to get out of jam just makes this... <laughs> So unbelievably pop culture coincidental to me. I have uh, just uh, it's just a moment where I'm enjoying this idea that her last name is MacGyver. But anyway, it is a Trump Organization person that apparently not working in concert with anyone other than Melania, meaning not working in concert with anyone in Trump's own presidential campaign, which would be highly unusual for a speech of this importance and this visibility had all these private conversations, and things got askew. Okay, fine. She offered her resignation. Trump doesn't accept it. Why? Because he thinks this is a garbage story, utterly meaningless and unimportant in the grand scheme of things. That's a message sent to his own supporters. And if, in fact, this is the way it went down, and there's this delicious irony about the last name in a popular culture TV show, well, it's all the more Trumpian, from my perspective. Um, look, the mileage for the speech is what it is, and is Trump... Uh, humorously tweeted this morning, more publicity than any. And if you think all publicity is good, even bad publicity is great for me. And that is certainly part of the Donald Trump heritage where it regards publicity. He likes all of it, even the bad stuff. So there were thoughts yesterday that somebody more prominent in the actual presidential campaign might lose his or her job over this. Apparently that decision was made in the negative. No one's going to lose their job, who's really crucial to the Trump presidential campaign. But someone within the Trump organization, again, a separate entity, offered their resignation, not accepted, and Trump can gleefully move on saying, this is a mistake, an honest one, and what a magnanimous leader I am. I wouldn't accept a resignation. Let's move merrily along the way. All right, Major Garrett, thanks so much for bringing us up to speed on uh, what is Yet another version of the truth that we have been told uh, by the Trump campaign at this point. We were first told uh, by Melania Trump herself that she had written this speech uh, basically by herself. Uh, we were then told that actually a pair of contract speechwriters had uh, written a first draft and sent it to the Trump campaign more than a month ago. And now uh, we learn via a letter from this uh, Trump organization speechwriter that actually she was the one who uh, wrote most of this speech and is now taking responsibility for the error.